And this is Ken Kreitzer at New York City Flea Week, and I had a chance to talk with Coast Guard Captain Gordon Lobel. And uh, Captain Lobel, it's a pleasure to be out here at uh, New York City Fleet Week and uh, spend a morning with the uh, Coast Guard um, on the Campbell. Uh, tell us a little bit about the value of New York City Fleet Week for the Coast Guard. Well, uh, Fleet Week is, a, first of all, it's great to see the return of Fleet Week after yeah, last year. Uh, was canceled due to budgetary reasons. So we're kind of happy to see uh, Fleet Week return to, to New York City. And again, just an opportunity to uh, salute all the seagoing services, Navy, Coast Guard, and Marines. And uh, just a great opportunity for, for the crews to, to uh, get out in the city and, uh, and just experience the city. And likewise, have, uh, have the city folks here in New York City, uh, since we, we only have uh, Coast Guard primarily here stationed active duty, Good for them to experience uh, other aspects of the military besides just the Coast Guard. Absolutely. New York City lo loves Fleet Week, San Luis Sailors, Coast Guard, Marines, uh, all the sea service members uh, uh, enjoying uh, New York City. Now tell us a little bit about the missions and roles of the Coast Guard today. Uh, a lot of work on emergencies, law enforcement. Tell us about some of the missions that uh, members of the Coast Guard work on every day. Well, I could, I could talk probably at length for the many, many missions uh, that the Coast Guard uh, performs. There's actually 11 statutory missions. Don't worry, I won't list them all here and talk about all of them. Very simple. The way I've broken it down and it helps me think about it, uh, keep it very simple. There's really three things the Coast Guard is concerned with. Safety, security, and stewardship of our nation's waterways. That's it in a nutshell. Uh, the underneath, there's obviously a lot going on underneath that, such as uh, um, search and rescue, uh, marine safety, um, it's the navigation, ice breaking, you name it, and we do them all here in New York. So uh, it's, it's, it's a lot to, it's a lot of uh, multi-mission, very diverse, but uh, again, safety, security, stewardship, those are the main Coast Guard, uh, main Coast Guard uh, functions we perform, and everything we do sort of has an aspect of one of those things. Absolutely, and I know you do a lot of work on, on emergencies, uh, and when uh, the weather turns adverse, uh, what are some of the things that uh, you do, the Coast Guard performs around the New York metropolitan area? Well, the, uh, one of the most visible missions we see is search and rescue, obviously. There's, uh, anytime there's anybody in trouble in the water, we will uh, either provide direct uh, assistance or we'll help coordinate that with one of our many partners here, the New York City Police Department, uh, the fire department in New York, uh, anybody has an asset on the water. A lot of the local uh, jurisdictions up and down the Hudson River, we work very carefully with them and we coordinate all the activity that, that, that goes into a search and rescue case. Uh, fortunately, we haven't had to do too much of that. There haven't been too many emergencies here on my watch, uh, except for Hurricane Sandy, which, which was a big one, obviously. Uh, that required a lot of coordination amongst the whole port, but everybody really came together, uh, just rallied, and, and got the job done. And we actually had the port back open in, in about five days, which was a pretty remarkable accomplishment. Absolutely. What a great job by so many professionals, military, public service uh, after Hurricane Sandy. Now, uh, Captain uh, Gordon Lobel, tell us a little bit about your career. You mentioned your 27 years of service in the United States Coast Guard. Tell us about some of the things that you've done, places you've been. Okay, well, I started out uh, on a cutter a little bit larger than this one called the Morgenthau, based out of San Francisco, and that was two years of underway. We did a lot of uh, fishery patrols up in Alaska, up in the Bering Sea, and uh, followed that tour with a tour right here in New York at the uh, Marine Inspection Office in Battery Park, lived on Governor's Island for two years, and traveled all over the world, uh, well, actually, one, one part of the world, Europe, Africa, the Middle East, where we did uh, U.S. vessel inspections. From New York, I was assigned to Hawaii for four years. Did some uh, vessel inspections over there in uh, Australia, the Far East, and India. So, so got to travel and see the world. It was a, a great experience. Then uh, focused on investigations. The uh, sort of the casual investigator when something bad happens, we either pr try to prevent it by doing inspections in the first place, but in the event that something does happen, uh, we do have an investigations now, program that does does follow up on uh, on uh, accidents when they do happen. So as a, primarily as, a, as a, an inspector and investigator, the early part of my career, uh, then I went to grad school. The Coast Guard paid to send me to grad school. I went to the University of Virginia for, uh, for a year and a half, and then a follow-on tour at headquarters in Washington, D.C. Uh, I've also been assigned to Baltimore and San Francisco, back to San Francisco again, and then back to D.C. again, back to headquarters, so a little bit of cross-country uh, back and forth, uh, and then found myself back here in New York. 
Absolutely, boy, you've covered a lot of ground with the Coast Guard. Is there a particular moment, of best moment you've had, most satisfying moment you've had in the Coast Guard? Yeah, I'll go back to Hurricane Sandy. That was a pretty amazing thing to see. I had just reported aboard here that previous summer and had, had gotten out and about a little bit and gotten to know my way around and got to know some of the, the folks and the partners here that we deal with on a regular basis. And it was amazing to see how how quickly people just rallied, like I said before. Just uh, they responded so magnificently and it was seamless and uh, just never been prouder to be in an organization. To see such a major disaster like that just come through here. And then everybody just rolled up their sleeves, pulled together, get to work, and, and do what had to be done. And, and just the selfless nature of people, too. And then, and then the folks in the Coast Guard who not only had their own lives disrupted, but then they were going out in the community and, and helping other people who were not as fortunate, uh, just helping them get their lives back together. Just really, really uh, inspiring and just made me very proud to be in the Coast Guard. Wow, Captain Gordon Lobo, thank you for all that you do in, in uh, Coast Guard. And thank you for all that the Coast Guard does for our country. And uh, great to see you here at New York City Fleet Week. Great. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Look forward to seeing you around. Thank you, sir. This is Ken Kratzer at New York City Fleet Week for Sons of the American Legion Radio.